Good morning everyone. I'm back and I'm going to do something different. So what I have here are quick cookie cutters, big cookies, medium cookies, small cookies. And what I'm going to try and do is um, I'm going to first flood the canvas a little bit because uh, that way when you put the ring in it has a sort of a suction so when you put colors in it won't come out right away. It takes a while. So uh, for people doing anything with these sorts of uh, rings or cookie cutters or whatever, a good thing to do is just flood a little bit of the canvas first so that the ring fits in there. But I'm thinking, shall I do three? But then I'm thinking, no, let's do a white background and let's do colors inside. So I'm going to do it like this. Now, I'll show you what I mean with suction. If I were to put the ring on here and put colors in here, it would come out pretty fast. So I have a lot of air in my paint, but well, that'll just have to do. So what it, what we do first is do a little circle, spread that out a little bit. Ooh, there's a lot of air in my paint, as you can see. Too much paint, uh, too much air. Where's my little torchy poo? Ew. Now I have a problem because I'm, oh, there's my torch. I have so much stuff going on here that I can't even find my torch. So we're going to just make sure some of the bubbles are out. Let's see if that fits. Not really. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger just by tilting the canvas and just letting that paint spread out a little bit more. Now it fits, so we're going to put that in the center. Now by putting it in the paint, that sort of seals it. So then we can put the small one in, and then we can start adding colors. Now, I'm going to be adding colors all around. I don't want too much color though because I do want to keep some of that negative space going on. But some colors I'll do more than once. I kind of like this one too. Guys, and I'm going to do something new. I'm going to do uh, a full video. This is the full one and then I'm going to do just the part where the paint comes out because I know some people really enjoy looking at that too but I know some people enjoy the chatting and the explaining and the reasons why I do something so you get the you know the good of both worlds I guess I'll call it like that so there it is that's the, eh, maybe a little more nah let's not do that okay now the thing is that what I'm thinking of is putting a lot of white around. So I'm going to hold down the cookie cutter and I'm going to put that white and eh, we'll have, oops, we'll have a little waste but that's okay. So now the paint around the, the small co cookie cutter is higher than the one in the middle. So I'm thinking if I pull this up the white will close. So let's see if that works. And no, it did not work, but no problem. We're going to help it a little bit. So I'm going to come in with this little scrapey thing and I'm going to fold that paint over the color like that. Okay, now it's folded. And now we're going to just give it a little jiggle and we're going to pull it off like that. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of air bubbles, but we're going to get rid of those.
And we're just going to see if this is going to grow a little bit. Maybe it needs a little bit more heat. Let it come up. And guys, you know, this is all for just experimenting with this stuff. So I'm going to let it go over the sides a little bit. Let it come down. There it goes. This side. Ooh, come on. Yes, there it goes. Now, I have to clean my hands a little bit. Now really, I don't think it's really uh, that ugly, just as it is, but we're going to work it. You know I will. Now I'm really liking what's going on up here and down here. Those are some really intense cells, those. They are intense. They have a couple of little rings about them. I really like that. And then we're going to pull them down a little bit. But that is kind of bright and light and not what I usually use. But now I'm going to put some, as you can see, I'm going to put some silicone here. And this is still growing. I can see them growing, but I'm just going to help it along just a little bit. So we're going to put in some more of those little dots. And I'm hoping they're going to grow pretty big. We'll just have to see what happens. Oops, put that in the wrong one. Well, they're still growing as you can see. Maybe, it, what was that? Don't know what that was. So um, I'm gonna fill up my other torch. Oops, that doesn't wanna be filled, I guess. Just to get a little bit more heat on top of it. And it's still growing as we, as we speak. Because I can see it all merging into each other. That is kind of nice. Only I'm, I'm missing a little bit down here. So I'll tilt it a tiny bit. Yeah. Now that blank spot down here is gone. Now that's pretty much intense, don't you think? I'll uh, I'll do a close up for you guys. Okay guys, thanks everyone for watching and I'm going to uh, leave you with that last picture of the whole thing. So I really like the colors and it's nice and bright and it was something different to do. So don't, you know, hesitate. Go into your kitchen, get everything you can, <laughs> anything you can pour in and <laughs> do your thing. So I'm going to wish you all a happy Saturday guys. Love you all to pieces. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.